Welcome to the freezing cold and harsh apocalypse of Canada, where it's constantly snowing everywhere and you have to make warm clothes and make campfires or you'll freeze to death. There's also this radioactive biome that came from a nuke. If you touch it, you'll be literally obliterated. Watch me as I demolish monsters, make a ton of friends and try to earn some rent money because it's so goddamn expensive in Canada. Like legit man, what are you doing in Canada? And without further ado, Let's begin. Just like any other zombie apocalypse character, I start with no backstory and no memory whatsoever. All I have is a chest with my starter loot inside. Hmm. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm taking these all. Oh, oh, god damn. Check this. Oh my god. Damn. And then I noticed a big issue. Is that a Red Bull can? Man, are you making a suppressor out of Red Bull? Not gonna lie, I look so cool at this, but at the same time, it's too rusty. But it won't take me long to face one of the biggest challenges in this hundred days. Ow, what? Ow. Cold weather. Heating coil, heating coil. And as expected, I'm not smart enough to use a heating device. Heat me. Oh no. Wow, it's so cold. So for some reason, I started digging down. Can I go underground? Oh my god. No, please don't die. No, this isn't a pickaxe. Oh my god, no! Please don't kill me. Oh no. I didn't sign up for this. Maybe I can find some- <gasps> Oh no. Not the church music. Come on! It must be warm! Come on! Come on! Oh my god! And thanks to my plot armor, I survived freezing to death on two hearts. Alright, let's think. And from that point, day one officially started. I'm gonna make as much, as many torches as I can. I need a reliable water source. I experimented on the heating device and managed to actually turn it on this time. Come on, man, work. Oh, oh, I'm warm now. Then I got to the surface and got a handful of wood so I can warm myself. What is that? Oh my god, that's so beautiful. Oh, I'm freezing to death. Yo, that is so beautiful though. Day two, I found out there's a really cool mushroom cave right under my bunker or base. Whoa. What the f- And because of the cold temperature of the outside, the zombies are hiding inside the warm caves waiting for a prey. Oh, no. Oh, this is a nice. Hello, guys. You guys mind dying? Oh my god! Yeah, these caves aren't exactly safe now. Three iron? Okay, you know what? Whatever you ask for. It. By day three, I made a stove, a furnace, and essentially, I have a functioning base. You got that? All I need is a bed. So I had to start running around through the frozen plains of Canada. I need to make a bed really badly. I need to find an animal real fast. Until I found a group of sheep with a ton of wool for me. Oh my god. I can finally say home sweet home. Alright, I can make a bed. That's something. I also put it as my next objective to make warm snowy clothes to withstand the harsh reality of Canada. One of the things I was thinking I should do is making a ton of campfires around my house since they would both make me warm and heal me at the same time. So I started chopping down trees and placing campfires everywhere. We ain't gonna be cold no more, man. Day six, I started scouting the area around my base. Anything useful? What is that? Is that a... Oh my god, that's a... What is that? Is that a tiger? Leopard! And for some reason, I started complimenting my rifle for no reason. AKs are better, so I'm kind of happy I have an AK here. With the, <laughs> the Red Bull suppressor. Day 7, I found a new cave with some new ores like dark metal and a new type of copper that I have never seen before. What is that? Dark metal ore, I can't even mine it. Copper. This is some rare ore, man. Then I located a building and decided to go there. I'm gonna go inside that building. I made a small shelter with the heating coil inside. And that's exactly where I found it. Oh! What is that? Oh my g- No questions asked. We are going there. I found a camp with actual people. I had to go there. <gasps> Camper! Ow! Oh! But they weren't so friendly, so I had to run back home. It was so stupid of me. 
just walking up to them. I'm not doing such thing again. If I see another guy, I'm just killing on sight. I don't care anymore. By day 9, I finally got a grip of myself and made some armor. Got some wool by mining the camp and started finding ways to get leather so I could have snowy clothes. Ah, I got one leather. And by day 10, after running around for so long, I found a group of cows wandering around. Okay, I'm not wasting any time. I slaughtered them left and right for the yummy leather, I think. I'm not sure. That's weird. But I actually have warm clothes now. I need to find more cows if needed. I'm not sure if there are any more cows left though. Also, this weird dog ruined the moment. What the fuck? Damn you, dog. <sighs> then I found a sign pointing to 400 blocks away, which I had no idea, but I decided to trust it. I'm trusting you, random sign. Whoever is gonna stay outside like that is going to freeze to death. I don't care. You're gonna fr freeze to death if you stay out like this. And it was it. It was pointing to a village. A real village. Oh my god, it's a village! Yes! Also, I had a big discovery in the village that I can make leather out of rotten flesh! I think I just realized what I need to do. Oh my god! I had to get back home. I'm going home. So by day 13, I made my way back home and let a stack of rotten flesh cook in my furnace and then went mining in the caves because I had to get some iron, man. If I wanted to evolve and progress, I had to get some iron to craft more weapons or maybe even more guns. I don't know why there is so much ice inside this cave. I also found some really beautiful yet questionable views. Like, these are some weird crystals, man. Hopefully, I'm not planning on sniffing any of them. Oh my god. Alright. I think they found me. I'm gonna leave. By day 15, I made another piece of warm clothes and tested it outside. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting warm. Which, it was actually nice. It's a lot... Okay. It's a lot less cold. And by day 16, I decided to go back to the same campers who attacked me on site. I had to take revenge. I... Oh. Oh, he's there. I see you, buddy. I couldn't let them live near me. I gave him a chance, but he rejected. Hey. Are we good? Oh. No. Assassinated them both! Bang! Dead! Ha <laughs> ha! And a hat. Yes. And by day 17, I finally had a full set of warm clothes. Anyone? I looted the camper's place. Oh, look, there's more city. Where out of nowhere, I got raided. Oh my god, there's a new village. <sighs> Shit! Like, where did you guys even come from, man? I was surrounded or sieged inside the snow house. Oh my god. I'm stuck. With no way around, I decided to dig down where I found a trapdoor to this weird chamber or room of some sort. This is like... This is weird, man. Like, I have never seen this. What the fuck? Duh. There was a potion table thing. Oh my god. With weakness potion and golden apple. Someone wanted me to cure a zombie, man. Iuna, unemployed. Uh huh. Alright. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna be back here. I could really use these guys. And by day 18, I finally got to the village and I, I did nothing there. I don't know why I wanted to go to the village. Yo. By day 18, I decided to loot the bridge like a structure next to me and found a city. Oh, there's a city. And went there. And I found some neat loot inside the city. What? Then looting small homes and camps. This was a nice go. And then by day 21, I made my way back home. On my way back home, I found a weird sign on a tree. I had to check it out again. And as I got closer to it, I found out that it was a bounty poster. Kill pillagers. And it asked me to kill five pillagers. Alright. But this poster means more than just assassination requests. This means that there are bigger squads and factions of survivors around me. I have to prepare for what comes next, because things could get heated real fast. Therefore, I almost used all of the iron I had to make the most powerful table in this game. You got it. Yes. The gun workbench, which gave me the ability to make ammo, attachment, and most importantly, guns. 7, 6 to 39. I also made some rifle ammo for my AK. I'm gonna do two. 
All right, this is actually nice. Day 24, in an attempt to find the pillagers, I went out looking, but I didn't have much luck. Why would you guys build your village like this, man? Are you stupid? Are there any outposts around here? Looking at the map right now, I don't think there are any outposts. Yeah, I wasn't exactly the luckiest person. Day 27, I was just minding my own business, where this happened! What? Ah! Ah! What? No! I fell in frozen water! What the hell, man? I almost died! What? God damn! Day 28, I didn't do much. I just spent the night outside because I was gonna have a big journey. Wow, I'm still warm. Oh, okay. I'm no longer warm. Oh, this is, this is where I found those pillagers. They attacked me. Oh, yeah. That's the village. I love how it's so cold and these guys are just burning and by day 30 i found a mining outpost for pillagers what type of pillagers are you what the hell are you even pillagers but these guys weren't no normal pillagers they were minor pillagers are you gonna attack me hey man but it didn't count as what the bounty requested you're a miner god damn get out of here man that shit almost killed me i also don't know why but i keep falling into random caves man this is weird What the hell? I was not looking. Day 32, I started planning on making a new gun. I needed a fast, short-range sidearm. We cannot make that type of long-range weapon. SKS Tactical. This this might be nice. Some sort of pistol or SMG. And after browsing for so long, I decided to make the Breta M9. I'm making the Breta. Ah, look at that gun. Looks so nice. Looks so beautiful. So right now I'm trying to find some sort of structure, maybe a maybe a pillager outpost, maybe just anything that spawns pillagers. Yeah, I'm not sure why, but I put it as my main quest to find some sort of pillager squad so I can finish the bounty. It was kind of dumb. And by day 34, I actually found non-frozen land. Like normal, not Canada. It's like not cold anymore. I even found an underground graveyard filled with zombies where I almost died. I have so many close calls, man. This is some dangerous stuff. No! <sighs> I am not ready for combat. Yeah, by day 36, I killed more campers because they kept attacking me. God damn it. I, I do not want to kill you. I do not enjoy this, man. On day 37, I found a big bridge that I followed, which led me to a village. And it gave me what I exactly needed. <gasps> yes! It's a villager outpost! Is anyone in here? Or is this, is this abandoned? Anyone in here? Oh shit! Someone tried to assassinate me. How dare you! Did you do this? I rushed the pleasure outpost to take revenge. No, no pillagers? Not even a single pillager? Come on, man! I need some. Pillagers? Are you pillager? I committed mass murder. It's the one of a kind bird. So beautiful. Perish. Until day 40, where I ran out of 9mm ammo. I'm, I lost all my ammo for this gun. I don't know what to do with it now. This kind of sucks. Right after that, this happened. Wait. Um. All right. The pillagers were on the bridge. I killed five pillagers. Where is it? Didn't I kill... Wasn't it five? Yeah, apparently the bounty requested a melee kill. And since I killed them with my guns, it didn't count as actual bounties. Ah, oh, come on. And then I found probably the most secure villager base in this entire world. Is it a village? Are you for real? Is this a flying village? I have no idea how this exists, but this is probably the most secure base out here. It is a village. I can see everything from up here. Like, god damn. Whoa! God damn it. You almost killed but me. But I had no business here, so I had to go back home. So I jumped off the flying village. Hey. 
Wow, what that? Oh no! Oh! And then I finally made my way back home. By day 44, I got tired of the whole bounty thing and since I was living in a bunker, I decided to finally build a place. But first, I had to find a good location to build my house. But thankfully, by the end of day 46, I found it with a camp right next to it so I could spend the night there. My cool ass montage of building the house begins on day 47! I also found this little dude. Hello! What are you doing? You goofball. I also had a goofy run to where I had to bring my most important items from my original house back to this house. Which was kinda stupid, but it is what it is. I made some trap fences and iron doors for my main barrier. Now it's officially the time to build a house. I wanted a wooden shack type of house. And everything was going really nice. I even brought all the items from my original house all the way to this house. But by day 60, I noticed that the zombies have built up some sort of tolerance to the cold to the cold temperature and now they can just stand outside, not freezing to death. Which is concerning because things just got a lot harder for me. I also planned on making a farm so I can sustain myself. I needed a ton of glass. I got the glass from the city next to my base and started digging a hole. The farm was going to be underground with a glass roof so I had natural light. What the hell are you doing here buddy? Get out of here. And the farm was actually going nice. I had cabbages, carrots and some sort of hair plant. I don't know what that is. Then I added some details to my house and brought everything. Like I mean literally everything from my old house to the newer house. I added a proper ground so I wouldn't stand on dirt. And even made a campfire so I could be healed and warm at the same time. With its own chimneys. Like how cool is that? I have a chimney now. By day 67, I started working on a room where my item's gonna be. I decided it's best to be underground since it's warm and it turned out pretty nice. I made a cobblestone ground with features like chests, barrels, furnaces, and even my gun table inside there. And everything was going smoothly. I even had some visitors. Here. What? What's the sound? Oh my god! Huh? That's scary. Visitors are not welcome! The animals are down. Day 74, I found a new cave system under my newly found base. How cool is that? Whoa! That was so scary. Not gonna lie, I thought that. What is. What is. What? But the zombies here are far more hungry than the other cave for some reason. Well, isn't this risky? Yeah, there was no point in the cave. After a hard day in the caves, I had to get some wood because building the entire house drained all my wood. And that's exactly where I found the most emotional thing in this entire video. Uh, what? Oh my god! This is massive! I can have a companion! Are you an actual wolf? <gasps> it's a wolf wolf! Come on, man! Stop eating! Eh! Why should shape shift? Bro is so goofy! Bro is a literal hot dog! Thank you. Wolf! It's a Range Rover! What do you call it? Oi! Bull! Bull. Then I played a mini game to decide which dog should I name. There was that one time where I had a long horse. And now I have a short horse. Yeah, short horse is official animal now. W in the comment section. W short horse. By day 77, I decided to go out in the plain biomes where I actually found a real horse. So many. <gasps> is that an actual horse? Oh my god, there's a bunch of them. Speed 10. Oh my god, these guys are like the... These guys are like fast horses. Oh my god. We had to become friends by force, even if you didn't want to. No, we're friends. Yes, we're friends. Then I had to brainstorm what I should name the horse. I can call him Bojack Horseman. No, no. He's like just not short, not tall. He's just a normal. T <gasps> Norman! Because he's a normal, normal, normal. Yeah, baby! Me and Norman went on a short journey. Oh my god, there's a... What are you doing, bro? Until day 79. 
I found the Wasteland biome, the biome where it's been nuked, the most radioactive biome in this entire game. Any direct contact would make anyone perish. Can I walk on here? Alright. Alright. I can walk here, even though it's really dangerous. So no direct contact with the radioactive material, huh? But unfortunately, my stupidity led to others being harmed. No! No! This was a big loss. After actually enjoying the challenge for a few days, I lost the only thing that kept me happy. Ah, no! He lived an honorable yet short life. RIP Norman in the comments. Oh my god, no. But he did not have to die. By day 80, I had to find some way or somehow to go through the dead sand. Then, I had the genius idea to use a boat and it was kind of working. No jump! Oh my god, I need slaps. Alright, we're going. I'm going. It wasn't the fastest option, but it was one of the few options I have. Oh shit! <gasps> By day 81, I found a non-dead sand biome, a non-radioactive biome. No, oh, they're right behind me. And I finally got there. Yes. I even found a city in the savannah biome, which was refreshing, not gonna lie. And right as I was minding my own business, I found it. We're in savannah, finally, there's some... <gasps> yes. A real pillager camp. Oh my God. Ah! My only chance to finish the bounty from the beginning of this challenge. I'm gonna assassinate you. <laughs> no! Alright, let's do this. I made sure to kill all the pillagers with my melee weapons. Oh, is it done? And I finally finished the bounty. Village contract, yes! I've done it! Maybe... What are you doing? All I had to do now was to make sure to get back home alive. <laughs> Through the frozen lands of not Iceland. <laughs> I even found Mr. Krabs. Oh my god. Krabs? This was a massive journey, man. Until day 89. I made it to my original house. I spent the night there. I am running home. I don't care what you say. But sometimes, even I get amazed by how brain dead I am. Oh my god. Because I forgot to wear my warm clothes in a below zero temperature. Am I gonna die? Am I actually gonna die? Oh my god! No! No way, dude! Okay. I just wasted my only totem. Oh well. Ah, oh, I was so close! God damn it. Oh my god! I finally reunited with my pets. <gasps> Short horse is alive! God damn, boy. He's alive. I also somehow got the rewards for my bounties with the help of the what? llamas. I'm not sure how. Did you just eat that? Two em no way. What? That was just a bunch of emeralds? I did all of those! I went to an entire new biome, a new- what the fuck? Yeah, it was not worth it. It's the Christmas day. Since in the time of recording this video, it was almost Christmas, I decided to celebrate Christmas for the last 10 days of my Yes, world. dinners served officially. I decided to make some proper food, make gifts, decoration, a Christmas tree, and having an actual feast on the Christmas day. Together. And now we'll have cabbage rolls, light meal. I made my own Christmas tree. All right. I can go with this, this is nice. And I even made a clock! I got some colors to make colorful presents for me and my dogs. Pink present! I got to the city to get some glass so I could decorate my Christmas tree. Yes! Yuppie Christmas! Oh my heart! The very next day! I made sure to make some paths so it would be nice and beautiful. And it finally was the Christmas day. Oi! 
way. Come on, man. That's not how it was supposed to work. Why aren't the rest of the Christmas chests? The Christmas chests was here. It was snowing. <gasps> it's raining. I mean, like, what do you call it? It's snowing. It was almost like as if it's Christmas. Let's start by having a feast. I have brought chocolate pie. Yum, yum in my tom tom. And I also have hot cocoa. So double chocolate. Let's see what we got. Red present. Oh my god, I got this song. <laughs> yeah. This is actually kind of sad because I had to make the gifts myself for myself. Dog food. It's for dogs, I, I guess. Run here, guys. This is like the best day ever. And that's it. 100 days in the frozen land of Canada. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And bye, -bye. I think I was kinda late, man. I love my double chocolate.